I was uh, 57 and um, life was looking pretty good. I was working full time in a high pressure job and I planned my life for my retirement and holidays. I mean, you just have this wonderful life when you reach that age and your children are grown up. And then everything went uh, a bit haywire with my daughter's relationship with her partner. Her mental health suffered. I found myself uh, caring for three grandchildren um, and I had no idea where I was going to begin. I thought, how am I going to do this? You know, my whole life has changed in an instant. There was no, there was no way could I, could I leave and not, not take care of them. I just adored them so much that this was how it was going to be. And so I was told about grandparents rearing grandchildren, WA, and so I went to a meeting and what I found was that everyone in that room was in the same situation. They all shared the same common thread. They had lost friendships, they had lost relationships. They had lost most of their life by, um, by their children not being able to parent and taking on their role themselves as second time parents. But without these wonderful people um, and sharing this kinship friendship is just uh, amazing because we all share a common bond and it's very special. It is difficult, but the one thing that is vital is the support from a support network like grandparents rearing grandchildren. All of our grandparents have horrific stories. All of our children come to us for, with so much trauma, but there are no support services for us. It's very difficult to find support for all these things that we need. A lack of services, a lack of support, a lack of empathy towards grandparent carers. And that has to change. It has to change now. I just thank everybody for it because it means that our beautiful grandparent carers who sacrificed a lot of their life to look after the second time around parents are gonna, this is for them. This is not for me, this is for them. We need to advocate for change. We need governments to listen. We need the wider community to take notice that this is unfair. This cannot continue. We need to be recognised. There are so many things that we need to consider when we take on the full-time care of grandchildren. But we do it because we love them and we wouldn't have it any other way.